you do have the right to be present at your trial, and if you're not there, the trial, of course, is going to proceed in your absence. Failure to appear at your trial will result in additional charges, especially if you are found guilty of the current charge. You have a right to a preliminary hearing. If you request that hearing, you or your attorney must send it to the address listed there after that bond has been set on you. You have a right to a trial by jury, and if you request that, you must submit that to the court in writing. You have the right to have an attorney represent you at the trial. If you cannot afford an attorney and you like the court to appoint you one, you will need to complete that application and submit that to the clerk's office, and they will make a determination whether or not you qualify for that attorney, okay? You've understood everything that I've just told you, Mr. Rivers? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions before we proceed? All right. It's a copy here of everything that I've just told you. Please be aware that if any of these charges brought against you are dropped, dismissed, and all process, if you're found not guilty of them, you do have the right to have them expunged off of your record, all right? Here on behalf of the victim first, please. Um, Anything? So, I mean, like I said, um, I do have uh, Mr. Davis's family as present in the courtroom. Um, and from what I, I, I was an advocate on call, so I did not go to the hospital, but he is still in the hospital. So um, we don't know the exactly condition. Sure. But Mr. Turner is not in the hospital. Mr. Turner is not in the hospital. Okay. And, All right. Uh, I did speak with him, like I said earlier, and I'm not sure if Ms. Shaw is in the courtroom or not. I didn't get a chance to speak with her earlier at all. I didn't have her information available to me at the time, but uh, I believe she may be present in the courtroom. Okay. Anything else? And I just, well, like I said, no to the arraignment, but I just wanted to make sure no contact has already been some different things I'm getting from the family. So. Well, Mr. Rivers, you understand that, again, like I said, this is just an arraignment today, just to inform me of all of you, formally charge you with these, with these alleged commissions of the crime. But you understand that once the circuit court judge sets bond on you, there are going to be conditions of your bond. And those conditions, of course, is that you are not allowed to have any contact with any of the victims or any members of the victim's family until this case is actually adjudicated in court. That contact, of course, means no third-party communication, telecommunication, or written communication, and a violation of it is going to subject yourself to actually sitting in jail until it's actually called for court. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, Investigator Garrison. Yes, ma'am. Um, sir, I have, uh, haven't been able to get to the hospital to check. I know the victims are still in the hospital trying to get the families time to you know, um, go through their moment right now, Your Honor. Um, as soon as possible, I would like to go to the hospital. Hopefully, the family will be this time. Um, the fourth victim, even though she was not shot, she was pretty shaken up on the scene, Your Honor. So. But have you made contact with? Uh, I have made contact with some of the family members, Your Honor. Um, especially the victim here as well. Um, the one, Mr. Turner, who's not in the hospital. Have you spoken to him? Um, there was another investigator that spoke to him. Okay. Yeah. All right. But someone has. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. Um, I didn't know. I'm sorry, Mr. Petro. That's okay. Um, like I said, I do have uh, a member of the Davis family here if you wanted to know. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, just for my satisfaction, what, is he okay? Is he going to be okay? Or? Mr. Davis, what, what is the condition of your brother at this particular time? Um, right now, he is okay. He did have to go through surgery when he was first admitted. Um, they had to have him to go to the um, mom. mom. It's okay. All right, thank you. Okay, and this other victim, is, I'm assuming he has to be okay. If he's not have to be, but he's out of the hospital. Yeah, he's out of the hospital. Okay. He was actually at the doctor's office when I spoke with him earlier. Okay, good. All right, thank you very much. Anything else from any of you? Anything from you, sir?
you understand you have any questions of me. All right, thank you very much. You can have a seat. Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Don't come over here.